First of all, bitch, I'm the riches in the state. In the state. They say it's lonely at the top, but I feel good. This is Cole. We have a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest, Black Zach. What's happening? Uh, so tell us, like, how that name originated. Like, why? When did you confirm that was your name? How that come about? Um, like this girl in high school just started calling me like Black Zach. Like my real name is Zach. So. Oh. Yeah. So she just started calling me that, and I just ran with it. So since high school, that's been it. Hell yeah. All right. So tell us a little bit about the South Carolina music scene. Like, is it hard being an artist out there? Um, you know, it it done got better, but you know, it it definitely is like hard. Like, you gotta get out the get out the city. You gotta be able to travel and be willing to travel and be willing to put like money into yourself. So, but you know, you can't really make no excuses about where you're from. You just gotta get to where you're trying to go. Yeah, I was gonna say, what, what would be the hard thing? Cause like in New York City, it's a lot of like rap beef. So is it like that out there too? Or is it more so just hating? Or is it like, what do you mean? Shit, it seems like everybody wanna be a rapper, so you can't really, I don't know whether to call it rap beef or just, it's, shit, it's just it's all competitive. that. Competitive, like it's like basketball. Yeah, it's, like. it's like basketball, okay. it's competitive. All right, so what um, rapper do you feel like impacted your music career creatively? Like who was some artists you seen that inspired you like coming up? Um, I like the artists like um, Jeezy, Gucci, mm -hmm. Yo Gotti. And then I like the like the the executive side too, like the artists that play like the executive roles too, like the Masterpiece mm -hmm. and Birdman, all um, that good stuff. Yeah, Jay Prince, all them people. So um, so you know the pandemic is like sort of kind of coming to an end now. Did yeah. the pandemic like shift your creativity or? Did it change anything, or was everything still flowing? Uh, everything was still flowing. Like I was still like still recording, still like traveling when I want to. I remember like when the the airports was like Maybe. empty, like nobody was in there. Like you, you were still flying when the airport was empty. Hell yeah, <laughs> still in there, just flying. It'd be like one or two people on the plane. When you know? mm. and I was still out. Yeah, that's cool. So um, so. Did you ever think that you would be to where you at now? Like, was there ever a point where you wanted to stop rapping, or like, was what kept you like going, motivated? Yeah, I, I always feel like I was gonna be the like where I'm, where I'm at and where I'm going, cause I didn't know it was gonna be like no rap shit. Like, I know I was gonna get some money some kind of way. <laughs> yeah. So um, so money more so keeps you motivated than anything. Yeah, money and like just. Having a new challenge, period. Like it ain't necessarily like whether whether it's, whether it's money that come with it, but it's like I just like challenging myself sometimes. Like, okay. Yeah. So you set goals and deadlines for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So all the time. So what's something like that's like on your like deadline list right now? I know you got artists now. You starting up your label. So like, what's something like on your deadline right now? Um. Share? Ready to get them rich, get the co a company. Get my whole company rich, like starting a real brand. Like I've been lately, I just been watching a whole lot of like, like um, like Bad Boys back in the day, Death Row back in the day, like real labels that came up from the bottom, like like I said, Master P, even to the people that's doing the new shit now, like Gotti's and all them doing mm -hmm. what they doing, so. Doing stuff like that. So what was like one something that stood out to you that realized you made out the hood, like? Like when this happened, everybody like felt it, or you felt it. Um, when I feel like I made it out the hood. Yeah. Like traveling, yeah. people stopping in other states. Like, what was it like? Oh snap! This is worldwide now. I mean, I feel like I made it out the hood. Like when I when I moved out the hood. <laughs> but it's like I felt like I was doing something. Like when I go to other states and like people know who I am, and I know it's from music. It ain't from got nothing, nothing to do but music and social media and shit like that. So that kept me motivated to keep going because I'm like, if I can get this person on me, then I know this person to get on it. It just be a consistent grind like every day. Okay, so um, so but you did, you did sign a label before. I mean, are you signed still? Or are you independent now? I'm still signing Interscope, SMG Interscope. You still sign? Okay, so um, so what is it? mean to like what does it mean to the rap game to you like how important is music for you um i love music i feel like the world wouldn't be the same without music so it's important and it's so much 
legitimate legal money you can <laughs> get in rap. So it's like, why not? So who's like your all-time top three, dead or alive, right now, music artists? Rappers. Yeah. If you had the name of top three. Damn, that's hard. <laughs> See? I like one I like one dude you probably don't even know, like Dobie from Alabama. He died like Dobie. when he was young. Dobie. His name Dobie. Okay. He was so hard, like. But Dobie for so Without putting myself in there, my you put in there? Well, if I put myself in my like shit, it's gonna be a whole it's gonna cover up the whole three. Cause I'ma say <laughs> me, fat. Oh, your artist, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm going to say that. All right, that's not a bad answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, what's something that you regret now in your career? Or something that you felt like you could have done better? Um, I don't really feel like I regret nothing as far as, like, my career. As far as on some rap. Like, I ain't never, I can't say I really No regrets? Regret, yeah. Feel like you, you made every decision thoroughly? No, nah, I don't feel like I made it every decision thoroughly, but I, I learned from them shit, so it was a lesson learned. Okay. I ain't took a loss from it, so it was a lesson learned. Okay, so how difficult is it is it difficult being a CEO and an artist? Um nah, I wouldn't say it's difficult because I think it's really it's really like better because like I can connect with them on a different level, level. because I'm an artist too, mm -hmm. versus what the fuck a CEO or just a executive person, yeah. all they care about is, hey, is the music selling, mm -hmm. like is that shit selling, but I can connect with them in a different way because I'm an artist too, So and I came from being independent and coming up like from the bottom and having to learn that shit, taking losses and keep going, having to fight with myself, like damn, I want to stop. I want to keep going, I want to stop, so it's like... Yeah. So you're definitely super hands-on with your artists. Hell yeah. So um, what, like, you guys do artist development or just having them on the road with you or, like, just the whole experience in itself? Shit, they probably will tell you, like, I am the artist <laughs> development. I be on anything I hear like that, I don't be in agree with. Like, I'm going to say something about it, whether, okay. you know, and they going to say something how they feel back. So y'all definitely you know have a good so. communication. Yeah, so I Because a lot like of artists complain that, you know, labels not in tune or don't really connect with them. So you're definitely in tune with all your artists. That's good. For sure. Um, do you have, like, any upcoming features on the way or any hot new songs we should be expecting, new singles? Um, I'm about to drop. We just dropped the walk down game. That's yeah. out right now. Me, yeah. Fat, uh, Eli, we just dropped that. Make sure you go get that. We ain't got that yet. But... Yeah, Tupac video just dropped. Yeah, a couple days. Yeah, so you tuned in. I like that, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I had to catch up. So, that's what I was going to tell you. How does the video process go? Do y'all plan out y'all videos? Or, yeah. like, y'all have a director on set with y'all? Yeah, we playing out that video. Um, um, My brother was already going out there. He had a little a freak he was with. So, I was like, I'm going to come out there with you. And we're going to shoot a video. We're gonna, <laughs> we, why are we going to work? Why are we going out there? Okay. So, we went out there. And um, but that video, it was 120 degrees, Ew. like in the desert. That shit was crazy. So you would never shoot in the desert again? Never. <laughs> not not around this time. Right, not in the summertime. Maybe in the winter time. Maybe, <laughs> but I still would probably be hesitant about doing that shit. Right. That shit was crazy. So um, what's some advice you would give an upcoming artist that probably wants to do your same shoes, be a CEO and still be an artist and managing a label, like what's some advice you would give them, like some tips? Um, just whatever, whatever goal you got, whatever you believe in, like, just do it, like, it's up to you. Nobody can't tell you what they, what you can do. What ain't work for them, not it necessarily, it might yeah, it might, it might work for you. And you just gotta not be scared to invest in traveling, like just, Think outside the box sometimes. So think outside the box, very much so. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like the music game is getting kind of saturated now. For sure. People got to like do something differently. So what, what's next for you? Got your artists coming, you got your songs coming, any projects? Y'all gonna drop a collab project? Um, I'm gonna I'm drop, I'm gonna drop uh, um, album next. 
But in the mix of me dropping, who knows, you might just still drop Eli, Fat Low, all them, but like right now, we're just working on just trying to get their face, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Build them up some more. Right. So when they drop, it'll really make sense. Yeah. But until then, we're still going to be dropping, like, singles after singles. After singles. Yeah, but as far as a project, like, we ain't going to really rush that too much because we, we got to build that up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everything is in the works for sure, but definitely a project this year. Yeah, for sure this year. Okay, so tell the people where to find you, where to find your music, how to stream your artists, what's their names. You can follow me on all social media at BlackZack, B-L-A-C-C-Z-A-C-C. -C -C. Make sure you follow Fat Low. Make sure you follow 48 Eli on all social medias. Walk down gang out right now. How to shit in the streets.